What's up YouTube? Back again. That was trash. That was so bad. That was absolutely terrible. I'm embarrassed to sound like this. Restart. What's up YouTube? Welcome back. If you're watching another video and thank you for watching if you're new. So today we got something crazy going on. We got something we got something that I never envisioned to happen. <laughs> so right here we got a special, 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 um, you know, may, may not be special with value, but you know, a special Miata here. This Miata today came to me for some starting issues and it was shorting very bad and it did not look like this. The engine bay was terrible. Um, basically, uh, my good friend of mine that I actually recently just met and he's pretty cool. He came through and he was telling me he wanted a couple things fixed and I told him I'm a Miata person and I'm not an expert on these cars but I know a couple things and I ended up diagnosing the problem. Yeah, it seemed to be like there was a fuse here corroded and the main fuse was shot. I don't want to over exaggerate but there was literally close to I'd say 100 shorts around this car whether it was on the chassis itself and the, <laughs> wait, I'm gonna stutter real quick. I forgot to show you guys. If you wonder why there were some electrical issues, let's just take a look. I mean, I'm sure that can't help anything, you know, with the massive amp. I've never seen a Miata what's up, so. And no hate, I love it. Uh, so this, this car came to me with, the, like I said, tons of, tons of issues. This is a fully built, I know, it doesn't look like it, but it is, 1.6 with a Chinese hair dryer on it. And, you know, well, we're gonna get this thing tuned, and uh, my boy Jimmy Oaks is gonna tune it, and I'm very excited. Can't wait to see what he does, especially because wait until you guys see what ECU we're using. No, we are not using a Mega Squirt. We are using a, yes, you heard this right, a V1, a V1 AEM. Not even supported anymore. He picked it up used, and we're gonna see if it works, if it even turns on, and I gotta put in a three bar map sensor right here unfortunately and that's that's the worst part about this whole thing because you know uh, ms2 comes with internally everything you need for the map for the manifold pressure and you know this doesn't have that so i have to wire it in now and yes this was an auto miata has abs that has to get removed eventually it's a pretty big job uh, i threw a filter on it i deleted the meter it was running on the stock ECU turbo, and he said it ran okay. I don't know. The kid who had this was a God only knows what he did with this car. No offense to him if he's watching this, but, you know, basically, uh, we're wiring in. I figured I'd start the video here. We're wiring in his, his AFM right here. It's an AEM air fuel ratio gauge. Uh, we got a Sun Pro manual boost gauge, probably eventually switch that over to digital. But I finally figured out the issues, and when you turn the key, everything turns on now. No more shorting, no more of that terrible horn work. Uh, I got a major problem going on with the headlights right now, but I'm not really worried about it. Uh, when you press the button, they go in absolutely insane. But yeah, guys, we got all the wiring fixed. It was terrible. I'm going to slap this all together, and we'll get to this video and you know, Let's see how Jimmy can do with this thing. All right, guys, I'm gonna set you down right here. Uh, we're gonna slap this mess back together. I'm gonna leave the headlights up for him for now. <laughs> I think this button shot, because when you press it in, they just constantly go up and down, and I tested it, and yeah, it's it's broken. So let's get this all back together, and I figure I'll do a little time lapse for you guys, and Ryan, let's go. <laughs> Also, if you didn't see before I leave, it's all done. All the gauges work, we're ready to go. Hey guys, I'm back the next day. I look like 12 years old with this haircut and no facial hair, but um, we're working on his Miata again. We're gonna finish up the final touches before Jimmy tunes it. We're welding an exhaust. Uh, not, I don't really call it an exhaust leak, I just call it a forgot about hole that was put in the exhaust, so we're just filling it real quick and that's about it. 
robot. Ryan All right guys, we got the hole filled. So if you look in here, she's all filled up. Uh, should be good to go. I'll start it and make sure, but I can't even start it right now because it's not tuned. So it's pretty much the final touches before Jimmy tunes this car. Uh, we got our filter on, we got the new oil in, we got the new filter on. In there. Yeah, filter's on. Uh, last thing we gotta do is throw some injectors in here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off and then pop the rail off with the injectors on it. All right, guys, so the injector and fuel rail is out. You got it right here chilling. His wideband stopped working, of course. Uh, endless possibilities with this car. It stopped working right here. He's going to go try to get an exchange from where he got it from. I'm pretty sure they do swap out. So he has an AEM air fuel ratio gauge. We need this to tune it so Jimmy can tune it. And, of course, it stops working and it's a brand new gauge. So... Got that removed, which is a nice spot because it's turbo, so there's a downpipe. All the O-rings came out nice. I got the fuel line plugged right there so it doesn't leak out because it loves to leak gas absolutely everywhere. Let's put this right here. Oh, look, you just texted me. Nice. All right. Yeah, so I think as far as I'm aware, he's going to be dropping off some spark plugs on Monday, so... Grab my keys. I think it's going to work. Saw it right through it. Wow. Okay. Rest in peace. It's a dollar store ball. Yeah. All right, guys. So Jimmy is finally here. What do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna blow up. You think it's gonna 100%. blow up? Everything so I'm, have you have you have you been filming this car? Yeah, I've been filming this car. So they know it's gonna blow up. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I hope you're gonna enjoy if you watch this part of the video all of my time lapses we have of uh, putting the interior together and all the wiring issues we found. So. I figured I'd call a professional over here if any of you know Jimmy. He's pretty good with these. Yeah, and give me this ancient computer. Yo, this thing's, you're only like 18, aren't you? Like 19? Yeah. I think this thing, this computer's older than you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the guy he got it from's had it since it was new. So. It worked, look at it, it works. I'm surprised we even were able to connect to it. Hey, can you believe it idles? I, I'm happy it came off of Miata already because it saved us a lot of time. Look, we're dripping water everywhere. So, um, the uh, trigger settings are all good. We have to set base timing, you know, scale the injector. Cool. Button. So it has a tune on it. It's oh, so it, are, it does have a tune on it. Yeah, I you mean, think that's not, why it idles. It was on a car already, so the tune on it. It's been had for a tune. This thing has some jam in it. Does it? Yeah, it had some jam in it for sure. It was wow. definitely pushed. Yeah, I think he, the guy who had it on his car, he had like a Garrett on it. I hope some, he did. something I, crazy. I hope yeah. Too. <laughs> yep, it was on the eighty-five. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he said when that. he when he dropped it off to me, he said it had a mix in it. That makes a lot of sense. Now it's fresh 93. I drained the tank. It definitely has an ethanol tune on it. This thing would have blew up real quick. <laughs> Good news is. I don't it, know. He, didn't you see he drove this thing on a stock Nikita? So, yeah, he, guys, he drove this He drove this with the stock 1.6 map and said that he was doing red line pulls and drifting this around turns. Bro, there's like. Okay, so you know how you have a, you have a, you have a map, right? Yeah. Like, you, this, is, this is like your yeah. ignition map, right? Okay. The stock ECU tune doesn't even have anything after. You know, positive pressure. He said it was. <laughs> so he said it wasn't breaking up. That's what I mean. I didn't, it makes no sense. So, yo, know, I figured I'd record this because this is like this is literally a first time for me. Like, I don't even understand. I've never seen someone been able to do that. What redneck? Yeah, he did it. Want to stop you see Yeah, and then it like the, it blew his motor, <laughs> and, then, and then it went on fire. Well, that's not why. Still though, like that can't be good for it. Oh wait. Oh. I'll wait a couple years. I'm, I'm waiting for the screen to just be like denied. Yeah, like the windows crash. Buy a crash. new one, you cheap motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he should have just. I know, no. I, I, it's a convenience thing. I get it. I his, get his name, it. his name's Mal. Weird name, but that's Mal? his name. His name's Mal. M A L. Okay, that's his name. Mal. When you watch this video, we're not talking shit. We're just, we're just picking on you. Yeah, you will be buying a Mega Score as soon as this thing crashes. I promise just, you. You know, if, if it works, it works. You know, it's like yeah. One of those things. It's just like it's an old electronic. Old electronic just shit the bed. <laughs> Work, work, works. Yep. 
I, fix, every, I fix it. Oh, you fix it? I was going to say, out of everything in this car, <laughs> fucking horn works. Yep. It's got big, it. dude, you got big subs in the back. This is why they pay you the big bucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay now. Nothing to see here, boys. Not responding. Surprise, surprise. I'm just waiting. I'm just like waiting for this thing to start smoking. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, just <laughs> pop. Get the vault meter and make sure. I mean, when AM V1 works, it works well, but step one. Okay, it work. Oh, there we go. Oh. Things, are doing, things are happening. Dope. Cool. Wow. <laughs> so I had, it, I had it in the wrong pin, but it's still not working. <laughs> now it's in the correct one. It tells us something. Okay. I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm impressed or what. That's honestly, I kind of like that. Imagine just going on the track yeah. And it's just like <laughs> dude, it just does one. I showed him and I said, did, I, I did was you like, do that on purpose? Or is that no, it, it's like, just it's the button. That's actually really funny. Yeah, like, I've never yeah. seen that before. No, imagine if you're just like a random normal person that just drives me out, all right? And you're just driving down the road and all of a sudden you fucking shit. Just <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. TPS, that's what sucks. That's yeah, the, I saw you guys did a while ago. Yeah, you did the BMW a, one? It's an on off switch. So okay. The computer doesn't do shit with it. So when you like your partial throttle kind of sucks because it doesn't know that you know it's about to do it. So you can convert to TPS, I think. This is a 90, it's the first one. Yeah, it's a short nose bullshit. Oh, mm -hmm. you want to start it up? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Oh, this car, guys. This is one for the books. It's the best experience. He knows how to paint, though. The car looks great. Oh, yeah, the car looks really good. The guy painted himself. Yeah, he's a really good guy. Yeah. Dude, and he had the uh, he had the hard top that was painted the same color. It was beautiful. What happened to it? He just got rid of it. Oh. It was the same color. It looked actually really good. I bet it looks good, yeah. Yeah. The paint looks awesome. Look at that, for sure. Yeah, look. Some overspray. Not bad. There's no overspray in the bay or anything. I think he did this with a Harbor Freight spray gun. Not bad. It was good wet. <laughs> Only a little bit. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I see it in the sunlight. Uh, should I? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got. Look at that. 200 and what? 60,000 yeah, miles? Yeah. That's OG, too. I can see a little bit of rust. Not bad. That's wow. rust wow. <laughs> You know what? You know what? That's great. Just lost, oh, lost all the subscribers because of that. <laughs> they, saw you, they saw you restore that thing, right? Or buff it or whatever the heck. Yeah, they. Do it. Like, try to just tiptoe the throttle. It's like SpongeBob, remember? Yeah, yeah. It's big toe, toe, big toe, big, big toe. toe. <laughs> Love that. Dude, that's literally like. What's that? That's like, yep. think about. Well, it died. Isn't it? It's, it's weird to say this car running, guys. I was like, the three days of the time lapses on this car, I never thought it'd run, so. But we have no timing marks on the engine, so that's issue number. I don't know, let's figure that out.
So usually there's a timing mark, you know, on the timing cover. Yeah, you only need the bottom one, right? Yeah. At least. Because I don't think, sometimes there's like pins, like the car, like um, some cars, you'll have like a metal pin. Yeah. That like sticks out and you can like kind of go on for that. But this has nothing. I don't think this has anything. Let's go see what it looks like on your Miata and try to like guess. Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, look at her. She's so pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, don't get nervous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, so Jimmy's trying to look at the marks right now to see if it's any what's similar. It's so hard to see it with the intake. Yeah. I'll pop it off if you want. <laughs> what are you blind going by feel? I always wonder what those little dots were on the door on like the tags in school and stuff. <laughs> oh god. You know what I'm talking about? Real. Yeah. Yeah. Like what are those dots? Imagine having to like go around feeling those. I don't know what people actually Yeah, like who uses those? Dude, he is in there right now. He is in the Miata. <laughs> one with the Miata. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. It's kind of cold out. Oh, this thing has a V-belt on it? Yeah. What the? F this yours? No. I didn't remember that. Oh, here's the best part. Here's the best part. What? The alternator does not move. He stripped out everything, so it doesn't adjust. That's why it has overspray on it. That hasn't moved. Yeah, it works, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one thing that works on you. Dude, this makes me laugh. An auto Miata. Like rare, dude, to see those so ABS. I mean, the, the auto Miata, the auto Miatas are supposed to have a different engine in them. Oh. I think it's a fact. Like they have like, they make less power. Like, Seriously? Yeah, you know, they have like different part numbers on the piston. Or oh damn. I don't know. Like that's what I read. Oh, uh, I was about to go pick up a, a auto one in Florida. Yeah, like I mean, a month. They make, they're supposed to. I think they like, swap on it. Paper make like five horsepower less. Really? Yeah, and then like, if you look it up, the, part, the piston part numbers are different. Like who, who decided, like, you know what I mean? I who, who decided that? I could be completely wrong, but. Hey, it looks like we got some new tension. We got an idler and a tensioner. Yes. Looks new. You did good, buddy. Um, where the fuck are the tommy marks on the crank Do you have a, what is that, like a 22? You mm. put that on a... Yeah. Easy to rotate. Compression must be nice and high. Hey, I mean, that's a good thing. Let's hope that's what it is. Okay, well, I don't see any tiny marks in the crank pulley, so that's pretty cool. Uh, fuck. You do need the bottom one, just for this. Just because you want to be precise when you do your ignition timing. Yes. Um, but, so there's usually, you know, the ribs on the crank pulley. Yes. Or at least there's a little, there should be two marks on the, on the crank pulley, like an inch away from each other. Um, do you have sandpaper? I have scotch Sprite. Think. Okay, we can try that. Okay. See, I don't even fucking, I can't even like roughly see where it is. Usually, like. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I doesn't look like anything. I mean, it's gotta be there. Oh, there. I think that's it right there. No way. <laughs> Unless it's just a chip in the crank. Here, give me some. Ryan Little. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, so it's right. See that little yeah. baby there? So usually it's easier if you kind of get like a paint marker and just, if you have one or cool. just, probably not. <laughs>
What do I? I, know, I do probably don't. You use to make a mark, like. Um. Want to make like a huge notch? We can we can gouge a shit out of. Okay. Because I have, like. Give me a hammer. We get a flathead. Watch. We got chisels. Ooh, look at this. True professional. <laughs> get you a big ass. Big ass hammer. What do we got? Bah. We could just you use. Know the frame jamming, the one that everyone has. It's like fucking. No, dude. That's, a, that's my that's my baby. Are you serious? That Harbor Freight. It's like it's like this long of a handle. It's just like. A I don't know why, because I'm saving for the big ass toolbox. That's why. Okay. Oh God. Mal, I'm sorry for watching this. No, this is good. It's the only way to do it. Factory refresh. Yep. This is probably the most professional. Ever. This video is gonna turn into uh, how to head gasket and stud a 1.6. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now I can see it. All right. So technically, you're supposed to have like a really precise ignition sink. But um, <laughs> on your car, uh, this was like in the middle here, and that was top dead center. And we could see it's physically top dead center. So we're just gonna eyeball that. So like, take a really good mental note of where that mark is right now. Okay. Because when we set the baseline, it's where it's gotta be. Really instill it in your brain. Okay. Fucking focus, kid. I'm gonna have to like pause. I'm gonna have to pull up the video on the cam and pause like. It is off a couple degrees, not like yeah. the end of the world. Oh, I didn't even realize you brought that. I was just gonna ask you. It's like, please tell me you brought a timing light. Dude, this is like nerve wracking. Yeah, that off. yeah I got that you. Would, that would be fun. Yeah, that would, dude, it was shot up. Dude, the Audi. Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not too far off. You see the mark right there? Yes, I do. Nice. You stupid. I'm gonna go over just a little bit. So okay. Oh, look at that. Look at just texting me. He just screenshotted my story of you. <laughs> look at who it is, guys. He looks kind of familiar. Yeah, fuck that guy. No, he has no <laughs> idea what he's doing, right? <laughs> Alright, so AEM not responding. Preuse. Start up, see if something does something. Alright. Whoa. No, you're good. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Try it again. Hold up. <laughs> it's new. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Yo, is, uh, Jimmy's uploading the burble tune. Yeah, that's it right yep. there. Yep. Little pop. In. What happened? Dumb AM stuff. <laughs> Dude, I swear it's like I feel like I'm an RX7 right now. Like, oh, I'm it's, excited. It's, it, <laughs> it's you know awesome. It so the like the setup ignition timing feature for AM is just like it's completely just guess and check. There's no like yeah scalar to it. So. We're kind of just blindingly throwing timing at it. So. Oh, this is great. Start up. Here we go. Okay. Guys, our tack stopped working. <laughs> that sounds good. Let's get it in. Are you nervous that everyone's going to ask him who tuned it? Yes. Like everybody. Yes. But I, as of right now, I'm not tuning it. I'm just trying to get the thing to freaking <laughs> <in right. laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what's wrong with it right now. You're buying dinner. Or oh, 100 percent. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do you want for the skyline? What do you mean? What, what, I want what do you want? What's, what's the price on the skyline? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do you want as a gift? Everyone knows I don't sell shit. What do you want as a gift for Christmas? <laughs> you want to detail my black Z? Yeah. Okay. I will do it. 100 percent. I will take that for that, free. That thing is hurt. Yeah. I will like paint correct it and everything. I'd be super happy with that. Yeah. Okay, that's a deal. Let's do it. Is it? That's it. Deal. That's it. See, you guys saw that? I'm, no keys back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You can take the keys. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get this map sensor from? Uh, Amazon. You telling me this time? You just got a fucking Am your most important sensor you got from Amazon. By Amazon. Thirty bucks. <sighs> is that the? Is that the look of shame? I'm not mad. Just disap. Disap. You're gonna go to the dealer on Monday and get an OEM one, alright? Yep. Alright, perfect. So we can at least roll that out, right? Yeah. 
because our biggest issue right now is our map sensor reading keeps coming back to being a pain in the ass, right? It's probably shot, 100%. So when we have an Amazon map sensor, I think we're gonna just kinda, we tried to, we tried to band-aid it as much as we could, right? And it didn't work. So um, we're gonna try and just grasp, grasp onto the idea that the map sensor might be faulty. I bet there was some $5 ones on there too. Yeah. And so he probably He said, went with the $30 one, yeah, it came in two days too. Yeah, so he assumed yeah. it was probably a better one because it was $30. Yeah. No, it's just a different seller getting, <sighs> get, hitting a lick on you, so. You think they have them? At the dealer? In stock? Worst case, it's like two days out. Okay. So. Well, okay. guys, it's tuned. It's ready to go. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't you dare try <laughs> and drive this thing. <laughs> can, I, can I rev it or no? Yeah, it won't even naturally. It, you know, it's like naturally not allowing you to rev it, which is probably a good thing. So. Oh, 100%. It just grenaded itself. I want to full throttle real quick. Yeah. Rip. Big rip. Big rip. Progress. Progress. Oh. These are so fire. Were they cheap? These? Yeah. Uh, base model is like, like 11 grand. Ooh! A car that idles? Yeah, right. A car that runs and idles? Huh? Yeah, honestly, yeah. I would say today the wind because the motor doesn't sound like it's going to blow up. Yeah, facts. Um, so I have the idle test. And thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for you know coming out at least trying to attempt to get it running. And hey, it, it runs now somewhat. Yeah, no, I mean, we fudged enough and it's idle and it sounds great, which is, you know, it maintained the operating temp, which is more than you thought. Way more. So, um, it's, it's a good step in the right direction. Yeah. We'll see what breaks first. Here, watch this. Next next time you see this, ready, ready? It's gonna be running, ready? <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, till next time. Like anxiety rising in You said it at the start Still I find it surprising I talk of faith My faith's